Today we have brought you the latest Tesla news. Tesla raises full self-driving capabilities price to $12,000. Tesla driver is charged with vehicular manslaughter after running a red light on autopilot. Elon Musk to visit Tesla Gigafactory Berlin next month, hinting at start of production. And, Tesla Model 3 delivered with missing brake pad. Let's get into all the details. So let's get started. Tesla has raised the price of its full self-driving capability to $12,000. The adjustment comes less than two years since the company raised FSD's price from $8,000 to $10,000 back in 2020. The recent price increase was initially announced by CEO Elon Musk on Twitter earlier this month. In his update, Musk stated that FSD's price would be rising to $12,000 on January 17th though he did highlight that the adjustment would only apply to the United States. Musk further noted that FSD should see some price increases as the system approaches its production release. This is quite understandable since most of FSD's advanced features, such as navigate on autopilot, auto lane change, and summon, are usable in the United States without many limitations. The FSD beta program which allows early access to auto steer on city streets, an upcoming FSD feature, has so far only been available in the United States as well, though the Tesla CEO has mentioned that a Canada release is coming within the following weeks. Tesla owners in the United States who would be purchasing FSD today would be able to gain access to the company's most advanced driver assist functions. These include navigate on autopilot with automatic lane changes, which allows automatic driving from highway, on-ramp to off-ramp, summon, which allows vehicles to pick up their owners in a parking lot, auto park, which allows automatic parking, and traffic light and stop sign control, which allows vehicles to slow down and stop for visible traffic lights or stop signs. Arguably FSD's most impressive feature, auto steer on city streets, is currently being developed and improved with the help of drivers who have signed up for the company's FSD beta program. Once auto steer on city streets becomes good enough for a wide release, then Tesla's full self-driving capability would likely be well worth its price, regardless of its rather consistent price adjustments over the years. Moving to the next update, Tesla driver is charged with vehicular manslaughter after running a red light on autopilot. A Tesla driver has been charged with two counts of vehicular manslaughter after running a red light on autopilot. This is likely the first time that a driver is charged with a felony for something that happened while using semi-autonomous driving features available to customers. The incident happened back in 2019 in Gardena, a suburb of Los Angeles, but it is now coming to light after legal documents revealed the charges filed last October. Kevin George Aziz Riot, a 27-year-old limousine driver, was using his Tesla Model S on autopilot when he ran a red light and crashed into a Honda Civic, killing the two occupants. An occupant in the Model S was hospitalized with non-life-threatening injuries. Now, a year later, prosecutors have decided to file to charges of vehicular manslaughter. The use of autopilot was confirmed by an NHTSA investigation into the crash, but it is not mentioned by the prosecutors, as the driver is always responsible for the vehicle when behind the wheel. Also, at the time of the accident, there was no Tesla autopilot to slow down and stop for a red light. The post suggests that this is the first time that someone was charged with a felony for a crash involving a partially automated driving system. The Uber driver behind the wheel of an autonomous test vehicle, involved in a fatal accident with a pedestrian in Arizona, was charged with a negligent homicide charge. They are making distinctions between the two cases since the Uber incident involved a test vehicle as part of a self-driving test program and not a driver assist system, like Tesla Autopilot, which is available to the public. Kevin George Aziz Riot has pled not guilty to the vehicular manslaughter charges, and he is out on bail. Based on the information we have at the moment, which to be fair, is coming from the prosecution, it sounds like a simple case of the driver not paying attention 
and running a red light, causing those tragic deaths. Autopilot is just a driver assist system that happened to be active at the time. It will be interesting to see if the driver and his legal team decide to use it in his defense. We feel like that would be problematic since all the autopilot literature, including the alert that pops up in the car every time you activate it, lets you know that you need to keep your hands on the steering wheel at all times, ready to take control. Moving to the next update, Elon Musk to visit Tesla's Gigafactory Berlin next month, hinting at start of production. Elon Musk confirmed that he will be visiting Tesla's Gigafactory Berlin in mid-February, hinting at the potential start of production, which is still awaiting government approval. Over the last year, Tesla has run into a lot of red tape while trying to get approval to start production at Gigafactory Berlin, a giant new factory located near Berlin in Brandenburg. The bottleneck right now is the environmental approval from the Brandenburg State Environment Ministry. Most recently, environmental groups had managed to obtain an extension of the public commentary period for the project, which delayed approval for another month. The new period concluded last November, and Tesla has been rumored to be on the verge of approval, but it has yet to happen. While waiting for the approval, Tesla was authorized to produce 250 Model Y bodies for testing purposes. Some Model Y vehicles were spotted, leaving the plant last month. Earlier this month, Tesla received another approval to produce 2,000 Model Y bodies at Gigafactory Berlin. The government has also confirmed that it received all the necessary documents to make a decision as of the last week of December. Therefore, the approval for the start of production has been expected to be imminent. Over the last week, several publications erroneously reported that Tesla CEO Elon Musk would be visiting Berlin this week, based on a single source on Twitter. The CEO corrected the information and instead confirmed that he will be visiting the factory in mid-February, which could coincide with the timing of the start of production, since the automaker would be expected to have completed its 2000 vehicle trial run by then. With the first batch of completed Model Y vehicles spotted at Gigafactory Texas this week, it looks like the Austin factory might have beaten Gigafactory Berlin to a start of production, though nothing has been confirmed by Tesla yet. However, as we like to point out, the start of production at either of those new factories is not the most important milestone. The smoothness of the production ramps is the most important by far. We will be keeping an eye on that in the coming months. Moving to the last update, Tesla Model 3 delivered with missing brake pad. Brand new Tesla Model 3 owner, April Gilmore, picked up her 2022 Model 3 performance in Tampa, Florida, in December. It was making a weird and annoying scraping sound, so she reached out to Tesla for help. As it turns out, the electric car was missing a brake pad. When April contacted Tesla, she let them know that the Model 3 was making a scraping sound that seemed to be coming from the driver's side rear wheel. Unfortunately, the Tesla service center didn't have any inspection appointments available until about three weeks later. However, the following day, Tesla reached out to April and asked her to send a video so the team could listen to the sound. April complied and recorded a video, which she sent to the service center. To her surprise, the Tesla service representative told her that many people watched the video and determined that the sound was normal and that there was potentially no issue with the Model 3's brakes. Of course, April pressed the service center to move her appointment forward. Tesla told her to have the car towed if she still had concerns. Gilmore followed through, having the Model 3 towed to a local independent Tesla shop. Not surprisingly, upon removing the wheel, the mechanic learned that a brake pad was missing. Not only did the Tesla need a brake pad, but also the rotor and caliper had to be replaced. Gilmore's Tesla service center watched a video from the independent shop and asked her to bring the car in right away. Tesla gave April Uber credits since it didn't have loaners available. The repair has been delayed a number of times thanks to parts that aren't readily available. The original repair date was scheduled for December 31, 2021, 
though it was pushed to January 7, 2022, then January 14, and finally January 19. We'll be keeping our eyes on the story to find out how it all turns out. In the meantime, Tesla covered a full month of Gilmore's car payment. Regardless of how Tesla is trying to help, the whole situation is unacceptable. That's it for now. So what are your thoughts about this? Let us know in the comments. Stay tuned at the electric arena for all the latest Tesla and electric vehicle news.